Saints Road, Little Italy, heading out with the Team Sky Boys, Ian Stannard, Chris Froome, Garen Thomas. On my far left, you can see a wheel just poking through. There you go. That's Long Lee from Sydney. And he's down in Adelaide checking out the Radlade scene. And uh, he's having a good time. His progression in the last two years has been pretty spectacular. He's been learning the cadence and the, learning the ways of the compact crank. And he's doing really fucking good. So good work, Long. You did very well. We've all been pretty proud of you. Progression over the last couple of years. This year, spectacular for me. Little Italy, Burnett's Road. Uh, basically, I've done two and a half hours on the bike. But at this point, I was on the bamboo bike. Pretty sapped. So I've got a bit of a leg injury at the moment. Just hit my de leg on a desk. So I wasn't really planning to do any wattage, but... No excuses today because I gotta get the footage for YouTube. I've got to do my job, alright? So I just had to ignore my leg that was just aching like fuck. Cork leg. I'm riding up Cork Leg Road on my bamboo bike, trying to hold Chris Room's wheel and the boys just to get some footage for you guys. So uh, hope you hope you're happy with that. Uh, but I was happy. I was I was grateful for the moment, and uh, it's just good to go out cruising in the hills and uh, share the local roads. See what some of the other riders think international. They love it here, man. They fucking love Adelaide. I know Garen Thomas comes here early and stays late just to get the quality training in that Adelaide can provide. The weather's fantastic. Nice sunny day that day, but just so much roads. I mean, I'm, there's plenty of roads I can show these guys on as well that not many people don't even know about. It's out unlimited. So we're doing 500 watts. Look at that. 500, 460, 11%, 12% gradient. You can sort of see on the far left, we have gradient, which means the steepness of the road, power which means the wattage I'm putting for the pedals to hold on and the cadence in the bottom, that's revolutions per minute. That's how many times my foot goes around a circle per minute. So normally around 100 cadence is ideal for climbing, 90 to 100. For me, it's about 100. For time trialing, around 105 is the hour record. And for sprinting, it's more like 130, 140, 150, 160, maybe even 200 if you can really push out 2,000 watts or something serious like that, like a track, top level track spinner. So cadence is definitely uh, the way to go. The more cadence you have around that 90 to 100 as a sustained effort, the less fatigue metabolites you'll produce. So just less pain, more performance for the same given effort. Uh, I definitely see in the future, even see it now, high carb, low fat, vegan diets being more and more embraced by the pro peloton because it's all about weight loss. It's about what's per kilo, it's about what sort of wattage you can hold per kilo for 10 minutes up a climb, 10, 20, 30 minutes, especially in a grand tour. So if you can hold the power, lose the excess inflammation or weight, then you're going to go better. So the problem with meat and dairy is it has a lot of metabolic waste products, and that can cause uh, inflammation in the body. So you just hold uh, extra water retention that doesn't really serve your athletic performance. So it's this extra dead weight from the whey protein, things like that. Or well, the meat, it's dead weight in your gut, it's dead weight. Oh, it doesn't really help at all. The car's about to come around in a second. That's Tim Kerrison, the physiologist, beeping the horn. I think he was probably surprised that Banana Boy was keeping up on the bamboo bike. And we're doing, you know, 400 watts at some point, 500 watts even. It's gradient 13%, power 450, 470. I'm hurting. My bike's about three kilos heavier. <laughs> that is a challenge for you. Slap three kilos on your bike and then try and keep up with Chris Froome when he's uh, banging out over the threshold up a steep climb. Thank fuck I had the combat cranks on that day. I was would have been dropped pretty quick. Thank fuck I was carved up. That's why I always carve up, because you never know what you're going to have to film that day. Good good times in Adelaide. But Adelaide's unreal training, man. It's so fucking good here. It's just so many fucking roads. There's, just, there's probably at least 50 climbs like this over five minutes in Adelaide that I can show people. This is un I've done over 200,000 kilometers in Adelaide. I know it better than anyone, I reckon. I mean, that's just a challenge, but... Is so many fucking back roads, man. It's fucking epic. And it's just cool fun to get some training in the fresh air. And it's just a bit of sunshine. It's healthy, man. It's fucking healthy. Uh, I noticed these guys, when we went down the hill, they'd taken it pretty casual, not taking really any risks. Going pretty casual down the hill. And the only time they were pushing was really the uphill, just for safety, you know. No point crashing out when you don't have to. But there you go. Holding Chris Froome on the bamboo bike. And uh, holding the boys in the bamboo bite, no worries. No worries, mate. All the day's work. Bring the uh, bring the videos to you guys, the audience. You get to sit back in your armchair. I had to fucking bust a nut to keep up. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know your questions down below. And uh, we'll see you on the road. Come up. Enjoy the sunshine. Done.